kind of interesting. They give you the option. Is everything in, in all right? This, with, with this character, they give you the option to no either one. take the drugs. No one must see. Look at him! Oh my God! They give you the option with this character to even take the drugs or try to hold out. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, man. But it actually, believe it or not, whether you take the drugs or not does uh, does uh, affect uh, the outcome of certain things, which is kind of crazy. Something simplistic like that does. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Oh, crap. I don't know. 5.30, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. I think it was... Brown. A beige coat. Crap! I pressed the wrong button. And a pair of pants. Brown pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I... I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I... I don't know. I panicked. I didn't know what to do. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? Uh, my wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. They separated. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Jesus. Blunt. Poor Ethan. I feel horrible. Oh, look, his ex-wife. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say, but it is a possibility. What 
happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? <laughs> I'm sorry. She went, she went there. It's not what I meant to say. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> So what do you think of the story so far, for those of you that have actually never played Heavy Rain? For those of you that have had, well, you know who the origami killer is, so please do not spoil it for those who haven't, but, um, well, looks at that, look at that. Now it looks like we're back with, uh, Mr. Shelby. Quick check! 1.394 inches of rain. Kind of interesting that they keep showing the rainfall amounts, and that's, again, kind of symbolic for what's... for the whole game, really. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. <laughs> God. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa, I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, you would please to move along, sir. God. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. All Thanks. right. God. Then he didn't want to talk. Might have known something. Inhalers are down at the far end of the store. Goddamn asthma. Can't breathe when it rains. What's he doing? <laughs> Where are those inhalers? Oh, I think I just passed it. There you go. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Oh, Jesus. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are if you I could open sneak that up fucking behind register him without making any noise, be as quiet as possible. I have worked very hard to earn it. Maybe it's less dangerous if I sneak up the arm behind him. What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man! You don't get it. Better not move. I'm gonna put a fucking Kid might panic if I try anything. If you don't do what I say now! Maybe it's less dangerous if I... Hey, you! Oh, uh, well, that come didn't here. work. I said I come stepped here on now. the wrong potato chip. Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Uh... <laughs> I don't wanna. 
So what are you gonna do? Someone could walk in the store any minute and sound the alarm. You haven't got a chance of getting out of this. The first guy to walk in here gets it right in the face. Are you deaf? I said put your hands up. I'm warning you, oh, okay. I'll shoot! If you don't raise your fucking hands right now, you're dead. I'm not joking, man. I'll blow your fucking brains out. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just going to be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's going to be all fucking right. <laughs> like how he keeps walking towards him. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Jump on him. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna threaten his I ass. I think you're making the biggest mistake of your life. Pull that trigger. I promise you. You'll regret it. Yeah? <laughs> I think you're the one who's really gonna regret it. Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. And now... Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah! Fight his ass! Come on, more fists! This guy's a... This guy's brutal! Oh, that's it? Wow, what a pussy. That was uneventful. I thought it was gonna be exciting. That was unthank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been well, here. At least I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? A shoebox? Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Thank you. I'd also like to purchase a lottery ticket and some cigarettes and Shelby. some potato chips. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. There isn't. But I can see now that I was wrong. Oh, what a stupid statement. So he just leaves the... <laughs> he leaves the store. Wait a minute. <laughs> he left the store. The guy is unconscious on the middle of the floor. They didn't even bother calling the cops. And they're having a full-fledged conversation. What the hell? <laughs> a little weird. Wednesday, 244. 1.564 inches. And now, we're introduced to another new character. Who plays a pretty, pretty vital role in the game as well. 